Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I want to do more with this tiny little setup, but what I want to do is I want to make it super mobile. What I want is to be able to just pick this battery up by its handle, and having the inverter uh, pick up with it. Uh, that way, I can just pick up the whole unit and and walk to wherever I need to go or put it in the back of the car. Uh, I just want it very mobile. So I've got an idea. If it works out, I will show it to you in just one second. All right, everyone. Well, here's what I have so far. <laughs> um, what I did is I bought some half inch PVC and uh, four right angle, 90 degree angle connections. And basically, cause there's a little lip around the, the top of the battery. And so what I did was I pretty much measured it out so it sits right on that lip. And then I used some paracord to, I, and I drilled a couple holes in, in this section. And I used some paracord uh, and then just used some bolts which I need to cut if this is gonna be a permanent solution. But, uh, and just use paracord to attach a, an inverter. And see, you can, you can see that the whole thing you know, it picks up just fine. I, I haven't glued the PVC yet because I don't know if this is going to be the final product. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and wire it all up. And that's going to take some time just because I need to cut all the wire, make my own crimps. Uh, you know, I want to connect uh, the battery monitor and I also want to connect the fuse somewhere on here. We'll see what it's like once I get all the wiring done. I just want to show you that I attached the, uh, the shunt for the monitor. Uh, I put it right there so that way I could just run the negative straight from here to here. And then from this side it's going to go over to the negative side of the battery. So that's what we're going to work with on that side. Okay, I believe I got the negative wiring all set up. I just need to put some heat shrink on it and then uh, zip tie it. But it goes from the negative battery terminal of the inverter to this shunt. And then, the, it, go, then it goes around the battery. And there's gonna be a zip tie right here that's gonna zip tie to this. And then it's just gonna hang and connect to the battery right here. So the negative connection is done. Now I just gotta do the uh, positive. And if you have a bench vise, this is the best way to crimp large gauge cable. Look at that, perfect. All right, you guys, I got the uh, the positive side all wired up now. So it goes from the positive terminal of the inverter across through this uh, 150 amp fuse. And then the wire just kind of goes around onto the positive terminal right here. So um, what I need to do is I still need to heat shrink all my connections, put the cover on this. I'm gonna use some, some double stick tape to double stick it right to the inverter. So that might that might fail because of the if there's any heat from the inverter. But I'm gonna go ahead and heat shrink everything and start wiring it up permanently. Alright we have all of our cables covered with heat shrink. So let's go ahead and start wiring this thing up. All right, it's done. We are all done. It's all wired up. I still need to do something with this, but I think I'm gonna 
carry it around, I'm going to carry it around a little bit and um, try it out on some things. See how it works out. Well, I went to go pick it up and all the PVC fell apart. So, looks like I'm gonna have to glue it all. And fixed. Okay, let's go ahead and try to use it. Well, it looks like everything worked out exactly the way I wanted, except for it falling apart and then me spending the entire day putting it back together and gluing it all up. But besides that, flawless. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.